Good morning and welcome to our tour of our 2011 Heartland Cyclone 3814 40-foot toy hauling fifth wheel remodeled. <laughs> and in the back we have the 14-foot toy hauler. The door comes down. In the pictures it shows that. Um, fully equipped and ready to go. Um, you'll notice two entrances, one to the toy hauler here and one to the main living area slash kitchen here. This is the first slide of three. This is your kitchen slide. It houses the microwave, the stove, and the refrigerator, as well as a prep space that we're using right now for cutting board, um, storage, and just prepping food for you and your loved ones. Um, and friends. So this is what we've been doing. Underneath the toy hauler you'll notice six wheels. That's right, <laughs> six support wheels. Great shape, lots of tread and a spare. Never mind that cutie dog. <laughs> She's just hanging out. Um, as well as the tires that you notice, you'll see one step out entrance, uh, folding stairs there and folding stairs here to both of the entrances. We use those initially before we built the deck for our stationary living, um, and they work great. On top of what I've just mentioned, there's also speakers from the main area um, sound system that you can play outside or in the toy hauler. Um, and it's been super fun to come out, have a fire, roast some marshmallows, and just listen to some tunes. Um, here you'll see a large double lock storage area. This connects to a storage area on the other side, which I'll show you briefly in just a moment. This is one of the two 30 gallon uh, propane tank holders. So one is here and the other is on the other side. Those tanks, ladies and gentlemen, last a long time. We're a family of five. We are outdoorsy, so we take showers a lot and it has served us well, nice and piping hot. Um, you'll notice slide number two here. This is the master bedroom slide out. It is 20 inches deep by five feet long. This holds part of the bedroom. It holds part of the bed. A nice big full-size queen bed that you'll see shortly. Um, windows are great. Lots of natural light during the day. Nice cozy, quiet, and dark at night. So great sleeping quarters. All right, folks, we're back. This is the second side of that storage unit. Um, it's quite large. Go ahead and open it with the spring loading door handles, and then you come in. We've got some toy storage, you know, three growing kiddos. You don't think it's much, but then when you turn that light on, you'll notice that's the table that was originally inside the toy hauler. So it's quite large. It goes all the way to that white door, which is the door I showed you initially. Lots of storage, dry, quiet, clean. Feels good in here, guys. It's always things you're looking for. Oh, and on this side, you've got some hookups. Notice you've got the light here, works well. You've got water, tanks, everything looks clean. This is PEX plumbing throughout the whole RV. So it is a four season RV, ladies and gentlemen, meaning you can go anywhere, anytime, and your pipes won't freeze. What a blessing. And living in a four season state, that was very important to us since we thought we'd be in this a lot longer than what we've been in. But you know, things change. <laughs> um, you've got a nice, strong gooseneck. We added the stabilizer for the master bedroom. Um, it works like a gem, brand new, comes with the unit, and uh, we are grateful. So, as we walk around, looking good, great shape, and then we'll get ready to go inside for the grand tour. Bear with me and I'll be right back. Everyone, we're walking into the main living area and loft of the Heartland Cyclone 3814 2011. I'm going to start here in the hallway. Now remember from my last video, master bedroom, bathroom, um, there are two large windows here. We cover them just a little to add some more shade, um, but they add a lot of natural light. Carpet, remember, is in okay condition. <clears throat> not great, but it's not brand new. But it's clean, doesn't smell, 
and works well for our fam. So um, thermostat also works great up and down. Um, it's nice and cool in here and it, it just works wonderfully. The fantastic vent, this vent helps with the humidity. It's an automatic uh, vent. It's actually up there. We love that. Um, it lets a lot of light in as well. Then you've got here the control panel. So this is the original color, guys, um, of the whole uh, RV. That was this color. So <laughs> um, control panel, all for the toy hauler up here. You've got system stuff, lighting, uh, water pump, heater, slide out stuff, all electronic, all works well, um, works wonderfully. Okay, so I'll start over here. This initially is where there was a chair and there were cabinet doors all in the front. We took the cabinet doors off. We really like the cubby storage. <laughs> For our family of five, it works great. Um, so we went ahead and did that. If you were going to move this um, rig, I would suggest putting Velcro just on the bottoms of your bins and that way it would keep them from moving. But for us, that's a non-issue. I have our um, our uh, diffuser, more plants. You guys know how much we love our plants. <laughs> then we have a little settee here, a little love seat for two, and um, a nice window. So lots of um, pretty light, just lots of lots of stuff to see. I'll move over to this dining slash like living. This initially had a large eight foot leather sofa that was a recliner. It was great. It just didn't fit our needs at the time. So we took that out, built um, a bench seating system and built the table, um, added the new light fixture and it works great for us. We have dinner, do school, hang out, play Lego. Um, you can just scooch another chair or a, a stool up and it fits everybody, all five of us, really comfortably. Um, I'll show you the loft in just a second. You've got speakers, you've got the vent for the air conditioner, more air vents, lots of light, the um, smoke alarm, all works really well. We'll come into the kitchen now. So, originally none of this was here. Um, we added new base cabinets, new countertops, butcher block, new sink, new hardware, new faucet, painted, um, cleaned it really well and it's so functional now guys I cook a lot my husband cooks a lot we have three really uh, fast-growing sons and it suits us well so there's tons of storage in here this is a huge base cabinet this is where the washer dryer combo is on the other side of the toy hauler we've got food storage food storage um, in here I'll show you just an example Remember, we didn't paint the insides of the cabinets. This slides out so kids can get easy access for snacks and stuff. Down here, just an example, I keep the crock pot and the waffle maker um, just to show you how deep this slide out is. Stove works great. Oops, sorry guys. Microwave works great. Refrigerator is brand new. Fridge freezer, both brand new. Um, work well very lots of storage for our family like surprisingly a lot where we keep spices goes all the way back second cabinet same thing you've got your utensils metal we love plastic ware <laughs> we reuse it we reuse it and cups and etc down there more storage here for food I keep lots of food in these as well <clears throat> And then as we move along, so I showed you this, 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 oh, the radio. So the radio player, it has speakers for the garage, which is the toy hauler and the outside. So you can listen to music while you're grilling or hanging out with friends and family. Um, it's very special. And then let me go ahead and show you here. So this is actually a false cabinet. We wanted a way to easily access the plumbing for the washer dryer and the rest of the house. So let me show you quickly in here you have the pex plumbing you have the plumbing to the sink you have the vitamix jk just in case 
<laughs> just extra storage guys right because you're in an RV um, and that way if anything if you need to access anything it's literally right there so we appreciate that the toy hauler is here and I'll show you that tour after my youngest son wakes up from his nap um, we also added brand new flooring so this is new core flooring um, it is amazing <laughs> it is amazing it is waterproof scratch proof stain proof um, and it's pleasing to look at so although the carpet is original the flooring in this area is brand new so we're very grateful and it works great uh, up next I'm gonna show you the loft so bear with me just a second all right everyone we're back um, I went ahead I climbed up the ladder super simple um, to come in and show you now this is a queen size loft so the mattress is queen size if it's two people comfortably if it's our 10 year old son very well he lives up here this is his space so <laughs> it looks like what you'd imagine it would look like um, but he has enough storage for all of his books all of his toys his pillow his lights his this his that there's two cabinets in here um, there's an outlet up here for him two bubble lights another vented fan that goes outside um, so he can enjoy the breeze and the sunlight and his own private window so we love this space for him he loves it and it's super simple so I'm gonna go ahead and climb down all right guys so that was the loft area and I'm just walking back butcher block countertop again enough room in the sink for lots of cooking lots of cleaning lots of living life and we'll just go up here speakers fans vents everything you need to have a safe and comfortable trip and then if we walk over this way the door area so it comes out right here and you're just moving and grooving and so that is the um, main living area and kitchen loft space yeah I think these uh, just so you know the ceiling to floor I believe it's 12 feet so it's pretty high ceilings is super roomy and spacious thanks so much for joining and gentlemen we're back touring the master bedroom and full bathroom of the 2011 Heartland Cyclone toy hall and fifth wheel we're gonna go ahead and walk up these steps and carpets original but in decent condition for original carpet <laughs> smells clean is clean um, this box houses what at one point was the um, cable and the landline so if that's something you're looking for you've got it we just didn't need it you walk on in here and you notice this large countertop that um, kind of it's nice butcher block walnut finish um, underneath you have six pull out drawers full drawers we use it currently for our clothing um, it's been really nice a nice large window lots of natural light over here you'll see one outlet and our Dometic duo therm I'll go ahead and turn it on so you can hear it keeps us nice and cold in the summer she sounds good go ahead and turn her off now because she makes a little bit of noise <laughs> and then we'll walk right into the closet so here's the closet it's quite large for a fifth wheel closet we went ahead and added panels here but originally this was all uh, mirror doors and so it was kind of tricky we wanted more space and so we went ahead took the doors off and put up this beautiful curtain it's a nice pink velvet curtain kind of feminine when you're the only gal in a house full of boys <laughs> over here you've got one of the two washer dryer hookups um, inside there is the PEX plumbing that we talked about earlier. Um, we actually have our washer and dryer in the toy hauler. So this is just some extra space for grown-ups. <laughs> there is an outlet here in case you need to plug. Another outlet right here in case you need to plug. We have added these QB storage um, for our stuff and it served us really well. If we were going to go ahead and move and not be stationary, we would just add an eye hook here and an eye hook here and kind of net this in. All right, guys, we're back. So from the closet, if you want some privacy, if you don't want to look at your closet, you can just go ahead, pull these, and it gives you a nice, soft, quiet, kind of visual freedom is what we like to call it. <laughs> um, as we're walking through, you see the master bed here. You have two lights here that are controlled by this button this is the slide we were talking about earlier it holds a portion of the full-size queen bed 
Um, it is not an RV size. It is a full queen. My husband is six feet tall and he feels super cozy in this. Just a little piece of our old sticks and bricks that we wanted to bring with us. So she's great. And um, that brings us to this door. Now, this door is just one of the two entrances into the full bath. We keep this closed most of the time for privacy's sake. But I'll go ahead and open it. It's a nice slide. In here you've got a full-size um, corner shower, full-size sink, and I'll go ahead and walk over. I'll show you this real quick. And the Dometic toilet, where all the magic happens. You've, we've hung some towels, and I love plants, so we've got lots of plants, but you can totally use that for storage. Above us, we've got the original Dometic fan. Um, she works great. Her vent, the mesh is a little dusty. We've done our best to clean it off, but she's in, she's in good shape, working well every day. So that's that toilet area, new floor, and I'll walk over and we'll look at the uh, sink more closely. All right, everyone, here we are. You have a full-size medicine cabinet with a light. Um, inside that medicine cabinet are several shelves that we use to house our toiletries. Um, it's great. I was gonna rip it out, but we love it, and it works really well for all five of us. So we went ahead and kept it, and it looks great. She's doing a great job. Uh, beneath that, again, you'll see that full-size sink. We upgraded the faucet system. The old faucet system worked really well. Um, it was just dated. So we went ahead and applied. Um, we installed a new one and, again, works great. You have a, um, another outlet and then underneath a full-size cabinet. Now, this cabinet houses all of our additional toiletries, supplements, medicines, vitamins. Um, it's all in there and it fits really well. Um, if you walk on in, you've got a vent here, and we'll go into this shower. So, something nice about an RV shower is if you're on the move, you can lock it so the door doesn't swing open, but I doubt that would happen. Inside the shower, go ahead and do a top to bottom. You have a nice um, dome window or a ceiling roof thing. Um, here you have storage. All five of us have different preferences. <laughs> And then this is nice. I have three sons, 10 through four, and my 10 year old is five foot six already. So he likes his up here. Daddy likes his all the way top. And then my precious little four year old, he likes his all the way down here. So he feels like he has some control. Any of you parents know what, that, what I'm talking about. This is an Oxygenix Fury. It has four settings and something really nice for you, you families or people who just like gears. This actually controls the water. So it's really nice. You don't have to let the kiddos touch any of the knobs for the heat and cold. Um, they can just adjust it from there. So we love that. We added that. And it's original, but it's in great shape. No leaks, no tears. Seals are great. And that's why we decided to just go ahead and keep it. Um, we're really grateful. It's been a really good RV for us. And that is the shower. Hey everyone, and welcome to the last video of our video tour of the 2011 Heartland Cyclone 3814. So we're going to walk through the door here into the toy hauler. Um, as you see, we've made a few changes and added some different things to it here. So let me walk you through. Um, We'll start on this end. You've got the toy hauler door here. We've covered that with a curtain, but it's behind this. It's super easy to access. In the top corner, you'll notice um, wiring, and that wiring connects to a mechanism that you can um, add a raised and lowered bed or sofa system. We chose not to do that. We wanted to build something custom for the kids. You have your vent and your fan. You have a vent here, another light up here, speakers for that toy hauler garage I was telling you about from the unit, some cubbies we've opened up for the kids, and these beds are customized. Well, they're custom made 72 inch by 30 inch. They're for two of our sons. They loved it. We have the mattresses. They are with us, um, and we're happy to sell them off with the unit. So, um, you'll notice a large sofa. It's an eight foot sofa. This is a 14 foot by eight foot 
um, toy hauler. So it's a very large toy hauler. We have one window, two window, three window, and in that window we have the air conditioner. Um, we've also added, there's the entry exit door, the second one. We've also added a piano. <laughs> one of our children plays the piano. He's excellent and he loves it, and so we wanted to foster that. Um, and we have a smart television as well. There's more lights, guys, more outlets. Um, the <clears throat> thermostat's here. And we'll walk over here inside this cabinet. I have our brand new washer dryer combo. She's awesome. She does the job. We have five of us total, three sons, outdoor fam, and she kicks it. That's the original color of the cabinets. You guys know I did not paint the inside of the cabinets. <laughs> you see vents for the toy hauler. Um, we have extra storage here for the kids. Under this carpet and rug is the original flooring, and that is still a completely, um, completely original toy hauler flooring. So that works well. If you wanted to add your toys, that's totally fine. Again, the door works, so it comes down and opens. Um, you could can transform this back into a toy hauler, no big deal. We just had it this way for our family and for our needs while we were in this rig. Um, we'll walk over here and as over here you can see the door This door leads you into the main living area. Excuse my kiddos um, It is a full-size door and It works well So Open that up. You can hear everybody and close it up and It's nice and quiet <laughs> All right guys, I'm thinking if I missed anything. I can't think of anything. I missed I mentioned the loft, I've got the doors, you've got the floor. Um, like I said, totally functioning toy hauler if you wanted to switch it back. Um, but for our fam, this is how we did it. So thank you so much for joining us.